the sport I do is basically running off-road on um, all kinds of surfaces, on trail, off trail, straight up and down hills, all different marshes, tracks, um, anything that's not on road basically. It's never boring. Every training run is interesting. You get to go to some amazing places. It's a real buzz, like uh, running up a hill is it's incredibly hard, but you're also rewarded with crazy descents. It's like being a child again, you can really let loose. You've got to be ready for anything, really. You could be on a nice smooth trail one minute, and then the next minute you could be on some real rocky stuff, which could be wet and slippy. So you've got to be very adaptive and kind of responsive to your surroundings. You've got to be concentrated and quite in the moment, but at the same time, you've got to be incredibly relaxed and you know go with it. Otherwise, if you're if you're fighting the terrain, you'll you'll, you'll slow down. I get a lot of help from physiotherapists and osteopaths and. Um, masseuses. Uh, I think because I'm so into the sport I'm training a lot of hours and uh, it's, it's very very demanding what we're doing. Um, you know a race can have a few thousand meters of climb and so it's always about uh, you know put the body back together and get it working correctly and feeling good. Particularly need to look after the ankles and the legs. Um, there's a lot of stability involved particularly in um, fell running where you're often off trail and just kind of going through tussocks or rocky terrain. You really need to feel the ground and be able to react and not go over on your ankles. So there's a lot of work on the proprioception and the small muscles around the ankles but also we need to have strong legs that can get us up the hills and over all the different terrains and uh, a lot of strength is needed for the descents where you're kind of lengthening the muscles under tension. Trail running races vary wildly in distance, but the most prestigious, such as the Marathon du Mont Blanc, are set over ultra-marathon distances, anything over 43K, testing competitors over a wide range of terrain and altitude. I think when there's so many people at the start line, it's, it's very hard to stay composed especially at a lot of these Euro races when they're pumping out, you know, motivating music um, and everyone starts ridiculously fast. So it's easy to get carried away. Uh, I try and tell myself that it, it is a marathon. It's not, not just a sprint for the first uh, couple of miles. For me, the start of the race is just about conserving energy and uh, yeah, and warming up, getting the, the body um, moving, being in a nice position, but not panicking if a few of the, the fast guys go off at the front. Like I say, anything can happen in these races and actually most of the action is on the final climb uh, where, where the uh, positions trade. When the race is long, uh, I like to break it down into, into sections. So there might be a flat section, then a hill, then a descent. So it's actually a number of small stages really. Every race, whatever the distance is, is, is very hard at, at points and I always contemplate stopping, but I think that's where you need to have some mental strategies to cope. I sometimes concentrate on my breath or listening to things just to calm the brain down and bring it back into the present. I, I tell myself other people are suffering as much as me because it's often true. And uh, yeah, as corny as it sounds, I often just tell myself not to give up. And uh, a lot of the races I do finish with a descent, so you can you can often catch someone. So it's. It's down to the wire and it's, it's always worth hanging in there. For me, the, the, one of the great things about trail running, off-road running, mountain running, is that you don't need to compare your times really because the terrain is different for every race. The conditions on the day can be hugely different in terms of it, it might be muddy, it might be baking hot, you're racing different people. Sometimes courses change, so people aren't so worried about personal best, it's um, quite refreshing in that sense, you can just go out and give it your best on the day.